Reduce, reuse and recycle, a term that's often used but not so often followed. Whether you toss a piece of paper into the recycling bin or pass on old clothes, you are contributing towards reducing the large scale corruption of our planet. In the UK, only 18% of our waste is recycled, whereas 74% is dumped in gigantic pits in the ground called landfills. After the rubbish in these sites built up, it is covered with a layer of soil and left to decompose. As this rubbish decomposes, it releases a greenhouse gas called methane into the atmosphere. I know what you're thinking. How is this ruining the planet? Well, that's the Earth and that's the Sun. The Earth is surrounded by a layer of gases called the atmosphere. There's also another layer of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide or methane, but when left at a low concentration, they pose little threat. The heat energy from the sun passes through these gases and most of it is absorbed into the earth, warming it up. The rest is radiated back upwards into space. As we release more greenhouse gases, such as methane, as we saw earlier, it makes it harder for the infrared rays to get back out, trapping them on earth and, over time, increasing the Earth's global temperature. So, by throwing all this rubbish in landfills instead of recycling it, we're producing more methane, a greenhouse gas, and adding to the increasing issue of global warming. Each year, every person in the UK produces 400 kilograms of rubbish. That equals the weight of six adults. About 75% of this waste could be recycled, However, only 30% of it actually is. That means that for each person in the UK, 180 kilograms of recyclables end up in landfills each year. With the current population of the UK being 61.4 million, that's a staggering 11 billion 52 million kilograms of recyclables thrown away each year in the UK alone. All this waste could be recycled, but instead it continues to build up in landfills. If we don't clean up our act and start recycling, at the rate we're going, statistics show that things are going to take a turn for the worse. Figures showed that in 2025, the amount of rubbish we produce will almost double what we do now, and the world will be producing over 6 million tonnes of rubbish per day. If nothing is done, rubbish productions will continue to rise at these rates and in 2100, the world will be producing over 11 million tonnes of waste per day. As we learned earlier, the methane that this decomposing rubbish gives off is adding to the issue of global warming. In fact, methane is 20 times more potent as a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. If this continues, it's predicted that within 50 years, global warming will mean that London will be flooded and that the North American forest, the Eurasian forest and the Amazon rainforest that all produce masses of oxygen that we need to breathe will all die. And if that's only 50 years into our future, think of the longer term consequences. This problem will also detrimentally affect our economy. Because the demand for landfill space will increase, the cost will too. And if we don't start recycling more of our waste or change our methods of disposal, rates are going to go through the roof. But don't worry, there are ways to prevent all this. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's as easy as it sounds. Reduce, stop unwanted mail. We all have those letters that we never read, that magazine that we don't care about anymore. Well, unsubscribe to stop the wasteful production of this paper. Think before you shop. Buy products with less packaging. Instead of plastic bags, buy reusable bags. And buy reusable items like real plates and cutlery instead of plastic ones. And most importantly, only buy what you'll use, don't waste. Reuse. Give to charity. When a piece of clothing gets too small, or you finish with a book or toy, don't throw them away, give them to charity, and I guarantee that they'll find a better home than in a landfill. Buy second hand. Just because things are used doesn't mean that they're bad. Upcycle old materials. 
for example, clothing. To make something new out of something old. This reduces the amount of materials being produced and is also a really fun project. Recycle, the obvious one. Think about if something can be recycled before you throw it in the bin and contact your council if you need any help regarding recycling. So, reduce, reuse, recycle, an easy way to help save our planet.